Oh, how are we getting on? Right, okay, so if you are slicing your driver, they hit a bit of a fade, struggling with distance with any of your golf clubs, then you need to watch this video. I've got a lovely little drill that's going to help you um, sort out your swing path and give you some feedback on whether you're doing it right or wrong. Um, so generally, um, a lot of golfers use their top half too much and throw the golf club out, and it's because people try and use their arms and not the whole body. It's just, just how... You know, when you start a golf, it's, it seems like an easier way of doing it, and it's not. So what you should be doing is using your legs, transferring weight, creating some space, and letting the golf club come from behind the body through, and you'll get draw spin. It's just a stronger way of playing. Um, if you want to understand that a little bit further, um, imagine a, a tennis player, uh, or if you've played tennis, and you um, you're don't want the ball to go very far, but you they're still sort of making sure you control it. You're sort of running into the net and you want the ball to go over the net and stop quickly, and not go very far. It's sort of a softer shot. So you'd come in, you'd open that racket and you'd slice across it and you get loads of spin. The ball's a little bit softer, hits the floor, stops, doesn't go very far. So that's what, even though you're trying to hit it hard, that's the sort of movement you'll be doing with your golf. Yeah, it's not weak. Imagine now you're standing at the back of the court and you've got a nice little rally going on and you want to get that ball to the back right hand corner, you know, you would really get your, the racket would be behind you and you'd, you know, be sending it over to the right. That's a stronger shot. It'd be a lot of, a lot quicker. The ball would be powerful. That's what you need to try and sort of figure out when you're playing golf. So how good players, most good players would prefer to hit the golf ball, in my opinion. Um, they want to get the golf club in here. Boom, right up the back of it. A lot more power using the body as well as the hands so i've got two rubber tee pegs you'll get my ranges i've got a red one and a black one the idea is not to hit the red one which is on the outside of the ball because that means the golf clubs come outside would have hit that tee peg first and you know it's for weaker shot so you can imagine changing it and if you came from the inside got the golf club behind you through you'd be going through that t-peg that I call the gate in a slightly different direction and the chances of you hitting that red t-peg are less and it's just a really good drill to try and figure out whether you've got the right idea so lots of practice swings before you hit a ball and you'll figure out it's a it's an arms thing yeah so you'll to get that golf club to go that way you won't be turning and getting this shoulder come through and the hands out here you'll be thinking about you know getting that golf club and your arms going that way okay so don't overthink it it's a feely drill you've got to feel it okay so you can imagine i'm here setting up to it if i do a swing that goes out here you can imagine i'm going to hit that red tee pig first i'll be holding on to it and it'll probably cut i'm going to try and get the golf club in here and try and feel like i'm going to miss that red tee pig okay so here we go Okay, seems all right. Give it a go. You can see the tee pegs aren't there. If I was to do the other swing, I would come in and I'd be hitting that red tee peg. Yeah, try not to hit the red tee peg. Yeah, hope that makes sense. Give it a go. Thanks for watching.